Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. There's a wraparound. RMN in position. It's nighttime now. Blink in. Three hero Earthshock. Triple remnant onto four heroes. Into the four hero split earth. And they get all. They get all. There's no other way to put it. They get all. Yeah, I dance to RMN. What an Earthshock. What a blink dagger reveal. But one is. People lineups are always going to be heavy. Yeah. Right. But, but the fact that gold wise here. Yeah, against an Alk lineup. As it mid. Alright, they got a really good stomp. Follow up stun. They this could be twice Onyx's here. life. Life number one. Silence, but who actually gets a really good initiation will get a lot of chaos out there. They're going to try and stomp, but that's not where the real Meepo is. Oh, he got He's going to be perp forward and manage to finish off the winter wipe and catches AUI as well. And now goes for MSS. Here. He managed to get up a really good table concoction. And he commits to this fight. They'll die in this fight too. That is going to be a rampage. going to be cleaned up as well. Rampage for Abed Meepo. Onyx have taken full control of this gonna game and are going to look bottom. to close it out right here, right now. They're oh going to push God. in bottom. This is Interesting kind of way to engage. He's basically going solo in on Pylai Die, even though there's two creep waves here. Jumps in, commits the wall, and now it's Fira who's on the hunt. He's gonna pay for the target. His open walls are moving. Drops the meteor right down, but now maybe when able to buy him, we can see the door is through the pet in full face, and now in comes Kazu! Oh my god. Like Holbada jumps in as well. He wants to go into one face, it's still be enough. Yeah, Soul Spirit jump in two! Bears are gonna lose everything in this fight! All five! Down, Team Secret wiping him on the steps of the Dire Jungle. Uh, kind of timing. Maybe he thinks it's the Shivers, like the Octarine plus the Shivers, where you Dying get the armor out as well. Kind of depends if he dies again, but he's still very far ahead, so he may be looking to fight him. Uh, jump onto RMN. Ramses will get the bash, will find the kill, and now the RP to counter initiate. Cleaving wow. through to it, now chasing onto that Ursa. I think Pycat can hunt him down. There's the skewer. Ramsey's getting slowed down. He's going to have to turn and fight the hole still ready. And General not going to use it. Keeps him reserved. They bring down for Dendi. Well, I said he hasn't had to come up big just yet, Gods. And right after that, he delivers. Huge RP. This is the Juggernaut Dilla Bear. A big Dyer's healing ward. Meanwhile, they do see themselves jabs. He's in the jungle. RR does have half of the. Ooh, he actually got off his ultimate. And that regen for help, though. They need more damage. They do definitely Jay do. Tank. And here comes Jay. Jay has to spin, but it's not going to be. J jabs is just actually tanky and fighting him. Has to spray doing a lot of work here. Kinetic field trapping Ice Ice in. He's going to be okay. dead. And the right click. The arm of Pongo, though. Oh, the plays by Jabs. Jabs is outplaying all of them. And now that you're going to get a secondary kill. Savage War is going to be good. The lightning strike is going to take him down. Suddenly, four dead for Ice Ice Size. Oh, they got the, the glimpse. glimpse back. That's going to be a five. A five kill. Yeah, the the Shiva's guard coming out from no one. That's another item to try and limit the PA's damage in team fights. Uh, aside from that, the Lone Druid getting the Eye of Scotty, so going for more armor. Uh, another item to, t to kite her as well with that move speed slow. These will oh. add up. Oh, Ghostic. He's stuck. Someone got himself a four staff. Ghostic is currently uh, held Team? on top of the cliffside. Team? He came in to do the deep ward. They don't see anything because it got deep warded out by the Iron Talent and no one's helping him. Is there a. Oh, is this actually no. a team with no four staffs? Well, they've got an Echo Saber on FN, but that... Yeah, that doesn't do shit! <laughs> I'm hoping that BSJ just... blows that dude up. <laughs> do have another good way to be able to deal with the roar thanks to uh, the offlane of that. Oh, BSJ might go down here. MSS gets the angle, but... Oh, he's gonna roar the side! Oh, that was sick! MSS oh, you stops boss. the TP! BSJ is now he's out, out of mana. mana. And he's gonna be called out by the Hawks, so he won't be able to get that extra movement speed or the reach, and he's just gonna be slowed down. That was so sick from MSS. I didn't even know that push disabled TPs. I thought it would yeah. just pushes him. Now we're mid, given how far ahead they are. And in fact, the TPs here, it's gonna instantly break Biver Smoke. They do not see this yet, though. Navi are ensconced in the darkness. A radiant scan connects. They will know heroes are in the neighborhood. They break the smoke. Blink cuts the start. General there to follow. Goes for the black hole. It's an air ball. But Solo's going to steal it for himself. This is how you black hole, he says. Jumps right back in. The remnants come through, but Dendi lifted. Denied. Three dead. Hole blown.
They get a smoke, they could go back on the prowl for another team fight if they'd want. There's no magic damage freedom to, to actually do anything with that whale. You have Ember Spirit and uh, Shockwave, that's all. Alright. Oh! oh! Get out of here! Abed! You son of a gun! Sit down, son. I'll QQ, man. What, what was that? Oh god, this is actually really scary. TNC need to get out. TNC could wipe them, though. Invisible. Like, yeah. if they get RP, they could literally wipe the Nessie. Oh, Jay gonna get the hoop stop on him. They need that time lapse. Where is it? RP, they continue it, and the time lapse actually is gonna pull him back in towards it. Now, Miracle already starting to drop pops to Enrage, but oh. can he actually kill them all off? Ninja Boogie as well, starting to drop low. They've got so much damage on this team, continuing the chase. Ooh, the impale hits through, and here comes Shay again. That's so much damage. He all the way back. Raven spinning away. Do they want him or do they want damage? They want everybody. They want Raven. The sun not gonna hit. And Miracle, he pops Enrage, but Raven kills him through the Enrage. Can they actually kill this juggernaut? I'm not so sure. Oh, the buyback comes out. They gotta run now. Yeah, they need to get the hell out of here. Sam H.E. is going to go for the stomp, silence. able to get the silence Stun. off. Ninja oh Boogie God. is playing out of his mind oh right my now. God. The Impale Dazzle is not here in time as TP was on cooldown. That's a Cannot dieback. group up with them. A dieback for the Centaur and no great answer. I mean, they take the melee barracks, but they lose so much in return try and go after them here? I think they're stick around gonna hold the, the tier one. I don't think they could actually pursue TNC though. Okay. Especially without Ninja Buki who is gonna lumbering up top. Oh, Miracle. Oh, miracle. Miracle? He has not rage. Time lapse. Oh, he's just baiting it up, and now perhaps all oh, the chains not hitting, and now here comes Miracle re-engaging Ninja Boogie coming from the back line as well. But that impale making a big happen here for TNC. Damage is dropping high, and looks like we're gonna jump in. Jay doing a lot, and now it's gonna be. Oh! Wait, well, wait, Omni Slash? They're turning sure. it back around. They're gonna be able to bring him down, but already <laughs> Raven, the kills! They're all over him. Five dead from Mineski. The plays! To make sure this mid tower does not go down, even if it's at the cost middle tower of his is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Oh, hey, he's out of mana. Maybe they can actually do this one. Nice silence. The Yules is there, but if they can get the damage immediately afterwards with a timber chain, he needs a little bit more. Doesn't oh. have the tree positioning though to be able to catch him. The Chakra misses, and they're just getting trooped around now. Monkey Moo will actually make his way to the high ground here. Trapped in by the Ancients. They're gonna clear through that one. He actually jumps back to mid, almost catching MV with that Chakra. They're gonna fail. They're gonna jump on SVG here and blow him up pretty easily, but it's the two cores they have to worry about on top of a tombstone as well to skewer away. Monkeys get out. Mu is also going to be able to make a jump away. Envy is completely out of mana once again, and so is AUI. NP may not be able to fight around their tier 1 tower anymore unless Rose can give them the helping hand, but Rose in danger. Mu misses out on another Chakra combination. They still have Roar. Still up. The Roar goes out. Mu, he needs to be able to get away from AUI, and he does so successfully. They manage to kill MSS, and sure enough, that was not a fight that NP could take. The long range kick oh, catching the AUI. He was just about to blink himself away. No, no, no. Like this. The blinding light push over the cliff. That wasn't the play. Oh. The remnant in big time. Internal MV hits a remnant, blows oh. up Melon, and goes to the other remnant on the side. That was a sick little play there from Envy. He gets the back line, manages oh to get the Earth Spirit as well. AUI is still going to jump in on the Life Stealer. He has to turn and fight. There's no other options at this point in time, but Moo, he can't really help him out, but try and chase away the Wiz. Another Blink Dagger up in a second. Zuzi has so many stacks on him. Moo actually still oh, trying to go for this fighting. kill onto Rose. Almost gets him with the Chakram pullback, but it's not there. And Envy, who cleaned up Melons again, is going to be able to help his allies bring down Moo. That's the Bloodstone down. No balling in these games that are just over instantly uh, from a you know a, a good start. I think it sort of nerfs that a little bit. I think it makes the early game a little bit faster than pace, which I think is a good thing. You don't you know, like these heroes always walking back to base since they nerfed the suiciding, which for a while was sort of the means of making the game a little bit faster. You know, some fan it's taking a beating of Doing his best to avoid death right here, obviously. Pops the dog and gonna kind of protect him. Proton three avoids getting hit by it. And Clockwork gonna go around the trees. I mean, he, and he's going to survive, actually. Oh I was gonna say, he still God. might not make it out, but yes, he will. Somehow gets this. I don't know. That was like miraculous how we got the two man crush. They weren't even in vision. Mm -hmm. 
and you know somehow just jumps in, gets this wyvern and the ogre. I think it was. They blow up the wyvern before he does anything. The necropo starts off the. Oh, he's dead. Uh, yeah, he's dead. He Whoa, never, maybe not. Go into ethereal form. Koifa can attack him. Prepares the concoction. Needs to keep the vision up. If he's oh, two, hey. he has a chance. He pushes them away. The four staff. From Noya, Ace has the distance. But the Radiant's burn is still beating through. Ooh. One more death pulse, but blinks up. This stampede straight through the tree lines. And he will be Teal way to safety. He does have the minus armor, or minus aura, minus damage aura for, for these guys, so. I'll slow it down a little bit. Sand King does have the epicenter, only level 10 right now, and there's great vision here from Faceless. I don't think they could challenge Roche, at least not from the angle that Ninja Buki's coming from. Jabs, Shadow Blade forward. I think he's looking to hit Ninja Buki epicenter. Oh. Gets canceled immediately. Savage Draw and Hoop Stomp. He's dead. Vision wins game. <laughs> Jabs, is he 522 in Shadow Blade? Yeah. He's 550 right now with uh, Bloodlust. Oh my god, the oh. flop back in. Jules looking to make a play. Oh, oh stolen. Natch the Aegis, and they get one kill. It's, a, it's on Jabs, okay? The bench is going to go down, but who cares? They have Black the popping the 10 second BKB. He's looking to pour it out of there. Can they actually kill him? No, they cannot. Now blinking on the back line here. That was Miracle's 10 second BKB as well. Don't miss this impale. Of course, RR will not, and that was a big break. Mineski needed that. Great play by R, sealing the Aegis. They kill Jabs. They force out a 10 second BKB from, uh, from Black. The illusion right now is better than DD because they can get the high ground vision. And Earth Spirit just rolled away from the illusion because he's deathly afraid of what's happening. Come he even on. had the Observer Ward, but look, can you click on that Observer Ward? You can't see anything with him. It's to the left. The jump oh. in, go stick, two man, stomp, double S general, Omni Slash down, but they've still kept themselves alive. This Bloodstone Lash Rack is finally gonna drop and he will die, but a heal comes through onto Pycat. Ghost Stick is stood in the Roche pit and down he goes. He actually had the Aegis, he snatched it. Somehow he took it. And now Navi, they don't have that second life of the Vengeful Spirit. The Posh you're gonna get raised a little bit here, but Chappy always got him on lockdown. The, D, uh, the BKB from Dendi will keep him alive a little bit longer, but Navi have given away, gifted a team fight win to Empire. I didn't wow. see what happened in the pit, but somehow. Three man stomp. Take those mid game team fights into all the magic damage on the VP side. Grab the sniper maelstrom for Dendi, and he's gonna sweep in. General. Undercover Vendetta, cruising deep into the woods. He's got a find the initiation again on two to three. Hero Carapace, Assassinate coming in and the pain rains down. The Burrow's there as well from our man and they clean him up. Four VP heroes hit the deck. And again, Gods, General, playing wow. like a field general. Well, they're moving right into each other now. This could be big. Don't want to go up the hill right now in all of this mayhem. They're waiting. Ice, ice, ice. Walking oh. to the high ground. They could go the for the RP. It's going to connect. They're able to kill him. The damage is coming out. The Nando combo. Jabs is gone. Can they find any more off the back of this? Ice, ice, ice has already fallen. And now XY to follow. They get the connection on the nuts. Faceless lose four. And this is probably going to be Roshan as well. This next fight if they wait for it. I mean, look at Jay, he's just like softening up the whole creep wave. They're yeah, just, their power, they're on to him, looking for the lift, not going to be there. DNC, I think, I mean, they're going for the tier fours again. Uh, they jump forward, Sam H stun on the miracle. Continuing the chase, though, they're, they're going to hit this tier four tower, and now they pull back onto Jay, not able to kill him off, though. Raven. On the other side of the fight, Raven is being controlled. They have another RP, which they can use for Miracle here if they want to use it, but Sam H holding on to it for the moment, the triple remnant forward, and, well, now it's in trouble. Omni Slash is well, he ends up it. What? Cuckoo ends up losing the second RP. Woo! They're all going to die. Tim's is falling as well. They're killing them all off two minutes with no jug. Why are they going in like that again? The creeps are in the base. That's it. They did it. Maneski, game number three. We're uh, spell when you have oh, centaur, oh, yeah. the centaur stampede, not once but twice. So it's really hard for them to find a good target. I think Evoker's the most vulnerable, actually. 
see the Weaver, they silence him up, and now are they gonna be any sort of initiation? He's back, and Impale does not hit because of the Yules, and now BKB on the back line, but he actually does not get anybody, he gets first hit bashed by Plus, and he's still being bashed, he pops his ult, but he's seen Frosted, and still being bashed up, and now Ice 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 coming on the back line here, with Precious, oh, oh that's gonna find a lot, I think the Weaver wow. trapped inside, and now everybody's just dead, Weaver nowhere nearby, and now Crystal Maiden letting it go on the back line, Miracle's gonna be dead as well, they get four, where was the Weaver in that fight, I had no idea. It looks like he did use his ult, but yeah. Split pressure of his own. I had to uh, tell them to back. But I, I think the only thing that's going to do is just speak. They don't even jump into the They are jumping into the a little bit. Look at the damage! Oh my god! Wow. Double crit! If MJW was just a second slow, and that's melee rack, they would push him up a ball. PKP did not activate just yet. And a big has to be KB. Just ends the front line. Actually, pops his ult. He a ton of damage here. He does go down. The Aegis will spawn, but this is what happens when you jump in and initiate. KB's already used a big to get some shots. The hammer gets dropped. The back wall is going to be great. My god! A mail! Dropping his own hammer. And that was the hammer of Doom here. A sneaky. Just takes the Raxus with the help of Illusion. My, my computer lagged a little bit. It just exploded! Yep. Thank you. Do you want to the, uh, we'll talk about this in a short little while? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And as you see, that Io does have a. Uh, Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a big rupture now. TP now. TP. Oh! Ah! That's the Weaver who dies. Oh wow! Oh, no people there. Oh. Very good. Also, Dude, this bear. Catch up, up. And the bear's angry. Stay away! Stay away from my. Oh, the juke! Oh. That's just a oh. no That's a waste oh. of a joke. All right, and the game has and ended. Rampage. Yoku. Gracious, oh. my bad friend. That's beautiful. Yoku. Oh, he managed to catch up in levels. Mm -hmm. Could initiate here. Unfortunately. I, I, again, you're smoking into no vision. But the we'll Observer Ward's going to help you, but they're all smoked up. So you wait for the smoke to break. The Dire Observer Ward's around the side, and this Lil, he'll actually discover everybody. And the question mark, do they want to go in? Oh, you've already lost one. The RP! Catching three with the damage. The cleave is there. A flame break, create a little bit of extra space, but nowhere near enough. They they have a timber saw problem though like that they do. <laughs> look at look at how low he brought them three heroes down to like a third HP they let, still end up killing off one is an ultra kill however for Chappie what a he crap. will get the kill the savage troll and the centaur back but with the blink skewer Ramsey's pulled back in a fight and it's a full on rampage for Chappie everyone gets to die from Virtus Pro man didn't get off the swap that fight no magnetize because Lil just died instantly. Well past the point where Timbersaw can, can slow her down. Yeah, and everything you commit, she'll just get it back again after the Aegis the Immortal Triggers. So that top tier 3 town, they have to burn the fortification. Timber can take care of the bottom, but he has to come home. Well, I look away for half a second, blink, and you miss the bat. The BKB is down for the Phantom Assassin, so she is bailing out slightly. I say slightly. Magnus, blink in, skewer forward. They found the timber saw, but a four-man kick. The rock will create space in the final bonds, tying Ramsey, Solo, and Bears together. Solo is going down. They had to trigger up the shrine, not to mention the buyback from the lone druid. He comes to the front line, still has one more bear to play around with. Lil! Oh, boy! RP! Hold him in! Pull him down and destroy him! Team Empire, this top racks, this whole game belongs to them. Oh, this lone druid buyback has to count for something. Looking for Maposhka might be able to bring him down at the very least. Meanwhile, no one ever so low could Bloodstone deny, but another death into the meat grinder again. Chappy just keeps on hacking and slashing and an ultra kill to go with the rampage from earlier. Oh, uh, actually making a double rampage on the game, Toby. Uh, yeah. GG! That was ugly. That was brutal. It was savage. I like And VP got wrecked. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So they Dyer's lose the tier 2 bottom. The tier 3, it's not looking any better for them. The cliff is only going to extend the inevitable. There comes the tornado with the EMP. MSS in a bit of trouble. 
So it's a little bit of a mini stun out from the Enigma. So they need to make sure they're okay. There's the Chaotic Offering coming out on three. The Fatal Bonds is there as well as the Black Hole. It's going to be enough to possibly bring down a couple. But there's the Earth Splitter. That'll stop Z Freak from really doing too much. They end up bringing down Eternal Envy. And now there's the Blink with the Slithering Crush. But Rose, he's put himself in really just harm's way. As he will be the next one to fall on MP after the Aphotic Shield is popped. So 747 gets a double kill. It's a nice black hole as well as a Chaotic Offering. But now what do you do? You don't have the Chaotic Offering. You don't have the black hole. Now you don't have an Enigma. You get, or now you don't have the Invoker. You get the Hook Stomp double edge out on two. But Centaur, he's looking to be in more trouble. A perfect Echo Stomp comes through from SVG. Now you're without two of your big time cores. They're looking to get the racks. Mew coming in with the Thunderclap, putting himself in harm's way. There's the magic missile. Slytherin Crush comes on through from Rose. They'll get another kill. Chaotic Meteor, or Chaos Meteor comes on through. As I keep saying that phrase, I'm really trying to get off it. He, he, he's fought back. He's in a little bit of trouble with that Aphotic Shield. He will survive for a little bit longer. Yeah, this Tornado do it. He will. But just like that, he's lost Eternal Envy, but the Rampage is there for AUI. He takes out the Invoker, Z Freak, Swindle Melons, Moo. The Rampage continues, all five dead on Complexity, and despite losing Eternal Envy on this Alchemist, they'll wipe the entire team. They get the triple Rampage out on AUI. I can't quite believe what we're seeing here in this game. Alliance, they just need one big play, and then they'll be in the clear. They need to get a kill on one of these big cores. But Adam just trying to keep them back. There's the four stuff. Jonas and Fan picks apart one. The Cottle's down, but the tier four's gone. The Ancient is exposed. Rule on TGM. The fortification comes out. There's the only slash from Loader. He gets one. Aggressive jump forward from Fada. The oh. RP's there from Jonas and Fan. But Yapso, he stole the RP. The RP's alive with the Sonic Wave. Jonas and Fan's out. He's down for 100, but they've lost three on Bears. Loader's got the badges onto Quad. Fada comes out with the Hex, oh. but it's a rampage for Loader. Alliance defend. They're not throwing today. They keep the Ancient alive. GG is called. Bears knew that that was their one chance to try for it against all odds. And it's over. Alliance, Alliance do it in true Alliance style. They give the opponent a little bit of a chance, but then they hit back hard and Loader takes a rampage. I mean, it's 60 minutes into the game, you're probably at the point where you're like, okay guys, we need to try and just find any kind of way to fight. As he actually goes out for 20 seconds, but it's not a good enough window to try and force anything. Mila goes in, maybe let's try to do a little bit of damage onto the Melorax. He's moving in that area, moving a little bit back and forward, now moves back towards the bottom area, tries to rat a little bit perhaps. Same principle as Team Goga, just, you know, rat, rat, rat. In the meantime, they'll see okay, mid lane, they go inside the jump, they get a jump on the out, yeah, will be taken down potentially. Still alive though, making it still available as well, will try and keep himself alive. And it looks like he's going to be We'll hide himself on the shark. Actually, uh, on the shark is actually wasting time trying to find this guy, and he now relocates one person at the back. Back is going to keep fighting the back on. In the meantime, they try will be taken down. Five back comes out instantly. Five gets for you, as an Omnisage and Omnisage action. That is not looking good, as this is too much pain, and Cutter will be taken down. No five back available. We'll have to go back and regen in the base. In the meantime, the will be taken down by the OD. Looks like they're all going to be dropping down inside of Vegas, but as they lose five heroes, the Invoker and the Axe is the only ones left standing. The Axe just have five back available, and in the meantime, they just... How does that ever happen, man?